Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We're a nonprofit that gets kids excited about math and science. We are working on our 1990 RX-7 with a 94 LT1 out of a Firebird, um, Pontiac Firebird, Chevrolet Corvette, uh, Chevy Camaro, etc. Today we're continuing our series. Um, you can you can uh, follow along or watch the other videos in the series. Uh, on our RX-7, on our V8 powered RX-7. Um, in the previous episode, we unboxed this, the optical distributor, uh, or OptiSpark as it's called, uh, went out on this engine. It's the Achilles heel of this particular engine. Um, the uh, second generation Chevy small block and uh, Petrus Enterprises sent us this beauty. It, um, uh, and today we're gonna install it. So a uh, couple of notes while installing it is the uh, Petrus provides this particular um, piece of documentation along with it. It's, it's actually comes right on the spline here. Uh, Awesome thing about Petrus Enterprises OptiSpark replacements. Number one, if you don't have a vented OptiSpark, like R94 didn't come vented, it uh, the the Petrus Enterprises one comes vented, and with all the, the attachments, you'll need to make that conversion. Um, uh, so this note, uh, you know, a couple of th other things that we mentioned in our previous videos. Uh, you know, it's it's really hard to find a good quality OptiSpark replacement. Even the AC Delco ones that you you'll buy from the dealer or online or whatnot, they're all remanufactured in China, um, and people have had issues with them. So, a couple things to note here is that they've already um, tested this. Um, they've uh, you know they've put um, thread sealant or thread lock on the rotor screws as noted here. Right, um, a lot of aftermarket or even the AC Delco remands, you're gonna actually have to disassemble the OptiSpark to put thread lock on it because they forget to do that. So anyways, we're gonna install this here. You can see where it goes. Uh, the note here, uh, you, you basically, with the, um, uh, with the splined OptiSparks uh, from the 92 to 94 models, I believe, maybe even 95, I don't know, we have a 94. Uh, it's splined over here, and that is actually keyed. Let me see if I can show you on the camera. There's actually one spot on there that is flat uh, versus the rest of it is uh, equally spaced splines. So you will want to line that up accordingly. And I'm just remembering here how this came, I, I believe this was the orientation here. All right, so, yes it is. Let me just uh, get some scissors or cutters to detach this zip tie, hold in the vacuum line, because that will need to sit flush. All right, so. Okay, so let's get this installed. So we'll want to make sure that this is properly keyed. And, oh, actually, yeah, we have a, a key already in here. We can pull that one out. All right, so they... Is anybody in here? All right, so this is the old spline. And where is the flat spot? Who are you talking to? The camera. Oh, that's why I maybe brought a mask. Mm -hmm. I think you were talking to somebody. Oh, thank you. Or just for chemical reactions. Oh, <laughs> no, what, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me see you I'm filming, sweetie. This is complicated. All right, we just cleaned up the area, the front timing cover. Um, just clean that up a little bit. Uh, we marked the spline, where that flat spot is on the spline, 
with a marker so the orientation of it is actually at about uh, let me see if I can get on the camera there it's at about the the three o'clock range so this will make getting um, the the new Opti Spark lined up easier here. And so we'll just put this part off to the side. Grab our new Opti and let's see what the orientation is here. Um, Was this oriented? Oh, actually, I had it wrong here. It's should be oriented like this. All right, and then we'll just um, adjust that flat spot here to line up to about the three o'clock. There we have it. Is that about the three o'clock? Yes. Okay. So we'll just put these vacuum wires off to the side here. It's also nice that the that the new Opti comes with a new wiring harness too. I'm just gonna tuck these. Actually, I'm just gonna drop them over here, just out of the way. Okay. Uh, why is this such a tight squeeze? Uh, let me take this out. Move that coupler. Um, why? Probably a better call. We'll pull the pin out here. There we go. Fit that in first. And I'm going to move this light over. So I can get back in here easier. Okay. I get this out. The crank pulley seems to be in the way here. Um, let me pull this pin back out. this pin in. There we go, but we need to get the drive pin in there. Hmm. And I don't want to have to pull the crank. Did we pull the crank before? I don't even remember anymore. 
Maybe we did. Um, hmm. I might have to go back to our recording footage. Because this is a tight fit here. Um, let me put the Opti back up here. Drive pin back in. Okay. Oh. This was not attached the whole time. Um. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, <laughs> let me move this out of the way here. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, let's see here. I just didn't remember how I did that before. Notice some gunk. Just gonna clean the seal a little bit here. Is that a rubber seal? Hmm. around this. Uh, I'll get this back. Mm. Yeah. It is a rubber seal. I'm going to just put some grease. And now I know why they switched from a spline drive over to a pin drive in the later years of the LT1. Getting the spline lined up was no small feat. Um, you know, definitely you want to mark the uh, the top with like a permanent pen like I did, but even so, it, it took some finagling to get uh, the spline lined up um, so that the OptiSpark would uh, slide in in the correct alignment. We got it done though. Uh, we will go ahead and um, just uh, tighten up the screws, uh, plug the wires back in, and uh, we're just gonna do a, a test firing of this motor just to make sure all is good before we remount the, uh, the water pump uh, with new gaskets and, and all that sort of stuff, put the, the crank back on, uh, cr crank pulley back on, and um, also, yeah, we need, we need to get a new belt as well for the alternator. Uh, but uh, let us know what you guys think of this video. Again, shout out to Petrus Enterprises for actually making an OptiSpark uh, that is reliable uh, amongst uh, not many solutions out there. Um, so we will get this uh, back on the road soon. Uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Smash that like button if we've earned it. That subscribe button helps us even more, and we will catch you next time.